Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. Second show of the day. Second show of the day. Uh, we got a good one for you. We're going to get into AJ and Nganu. Um, I know a lot of you guys are interested in this. Um, I'm going to give you an, an interesting take on this fight. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Follow me, all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, let's bring down the house together. There's always a bull market somewhere. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I will show you how to consistently make money betting on this sport, even though I don't gamble. I always use DraftKings. Can't even use DraftKings in Texas. But if you do gamble, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. Let's do it together. Um, also, join the Patreon. The Patreon, the link is in the description. Please join the Patreon. Uh, it's just $5 a month. You get the lock of the week. Um, you get the free T-shirt. You can ask me to handicap any fight that I haven't, and I will break it down for you. And there's a ton of other perks as well. Please join the Patreon. Just $5 a month. Uh, please join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Also, follow my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. On YouTube, that's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, so let's get into this fight. I'm going to preface this before I break it down. And I'm going to tell you that you should lay off this fight. I, I know everyone wants action on this fight. and I, I, I'll show you how to make money on it. I really think you should lay off this fight. I can tell you, I'm not saying this fight is a gimmick like a Jake Paul fight, but I can tell you without a doubt from the trainer, the Jake Paul fight was fixed, okay? I don't want anyone betting on a fixed fight. It's bad for the sport. It's bad for you. I, I would stay the heck away from this fight. I don't, There's better fights that you can bet. And Ganu has, what, 10 rounds in his entire career? I, I That fight with Fury was fugazi to me. He barely threw any punches. Um... 59 landed punches. He threw 23 punches around. And, and they both threw it like that. Like, why did Fury not throw any punches either? The whole thing was weird to me. I'm not saying it was fixed. I'm saying it looked weird to me. Uh, I would advise you to stay the hell away from this fight. Now that I've put that disclaimer out there, let's get into the fight. Yeah, we all know AJ. Uh, AJ is a little bit different fighter now with, with Derek James. But he still does. You know, he creates his range. He uses his jab and size to maintain his range. His jab is good. He uses his jab. He's mechanical. His head movement is mechanical. You know, he's defensively responsible, but he's, there's no fluidity to him. I, I don't think ultimately he's hard to hit, although he does things fairly well. That makes him a little bit more difficult to hit. But if you have any speed at all, which I don't know if a guy that does, he didn't show any, I don't think, in, in the Fury fight, you can hit him. And that's why... Andy Ruiz had, had success with him. It's why Usyk dominates him. I'm not saying AJ's a bad fighter. He's a good heavyweight. He was a good heavyweight champion. I don't think he was. he's as good as he was a few years ago. Obviously, his power is great. His straight right hand is great. His uppercuts are great. He's got real power in both hands. That's, that's obvious. No, he doesn't have the same power as Wilder, but that's not really necessary. He, he has enough power to change a, a fight with one punch. He's done it many times. His timing is really, really good. His timing on his right hand is, is, is as good as anyone in the division. He's thrown a little bit more combinations with Derek James, which I like. He's patient. I think sometimes too patient. I, I'd like his output to be a little higher. I'd like to see, you know, he throws in some combinations. I want to see more of it. I think he's a good combination puncher. I think he should do more of it. I, I don't think he's... Slow, like Joyce or, or Zhang, I, I think he's got a little bit more speed to him. I, I think he'd be a good combination puncher. I think he, when he throws in combination, it, it is good. I want to see more of it. I think it's too much one shot at a time. You know, what, what his strength is, is controlling distance. It, it's fighting at range. He wants the fight at range, and when he can get it there, he, he's well. If you can get it on the inside, you can beat him. And we've seen this over and over again. So the question is, can Ganu get on the inside? Or can AJ keep him at range with his jab? That's the question. Well, what does Ngano do? There's so little tape on Ngano. He's had one pro fight. He's 6'4", two, uh, 270. He's a big boy. 
I don't think he you know, he's going to have decent power. It, it, he just doesn't really load up. He doesn't throw much, right? Like I said, in his whole boxing career, he's thrown 230 punches, and he's fighting Anthony Joshua after fighting Tyson Fury. This is just inexplicable. I, I, I think the first fight with Fury was for Gazy. Like, I don't care how good you are. Andy Cruz doesn't go and fight the best or second best or third best guy at 135 in his first fight. He didn't fight Tank Davis. He didn't fight Shakur Stevenson. He didn't fight any of those guys in his third fight, right? He fights real guys. He, he fights. He levels up. So why would Nganu, who ha- didn't have an amateur career like Cruz, wasn't the gold medals, wasn't one of the all-time great Olympic performances, right? He did none of those things. <clears throat> why, why would he get a fight with Fury scheduled for 10 rounds in his pro debut? Like, who sanctioned that? Saudi Arabia. Okay. All right, fair enough. But he has some boxing skills. I mean, I'm not saying he's a bum. He's not Conor McGregor. It looks like he's completely lost. And he does have some skills. He throws the jab. Uh, the right hand, he lunges with it a little bit, but it seems to have some decent power on it. You know, he dropped Fury, I guess. You know, Fury did seem like he was buzzed when he went down. Didn't seem like he took a dive on that shot. I, I just really don't know what to make of that fight. He can't close the distance at all, which is ultimately going to be his downfall. He can't He can't get inside. He, he doesn't know how to do it. He can't cut off the ring. He can't slip shots. He didn't do any of that with, with Fury. He's got good timing on his shots. He's, he, you know, he works his jab like he – but he – this is what makes the Fury fight so weird to me. He doesn't do anything really well, yet he, he fought a 50-50 type of fight with Fury. You know what I'm saying? He threw 59. He, he landed 59 punches. He threw 23 punches around. I just, I can't advise you to bet on this fight. I just, it's weird to me. And I don't know why this would be sanctioned. I don't know why the Fury fight would be sanctioned. You know, I've seen... Better fights not sanctioned for obvious reasons. So this is a money grab. And it's obviously a money grab for everyone involved. So why would it not be rigged? I'm not saying that it is. I'm just asking a question. All right. I'm laying off the fight. I'm going to show you how I'm going to make money. I kind of show my hand here. I will give you my official prediction. Anything other than Anthony Joshua on the money line, minus 450. $100 bet. Makes you 22-22. Anything other than that, I'm laying off. I I just can't. I can't touch the money, the over-under. I can't touch any of the props. I, I just think this fight is so rigged. So I, I, I know this is not what you guys want, but I'm telling you that this is not a fight you should bet on. I do think Joshua would win. I think he's got too much integrity, but does he carry him? You know, I would probably feel comfortable with that, but who knows? I, I, Fury... This is all I would feel comfortable with in this fight. I, I think this fight is, is rigged and for Gazy. I think this is a ridiculous fight. You have a two-time unified heavyweight champion fighting a guy with one fight. And the guy in his one fight somehow got a fight with Tyson Fury with no fights. And no amateur fights of note. Uh, don't touch this fight, guys. But that's what, I'm, that's what I'm taking. The only thing I'm touching is Anthony Joshua on the money line on a standard bet. I wouldn't load up on it. I do think he'll win. I, I don't think they'll have him lose. I would almost feel – just that's all I'm doing. I'm taking Anthony Joshua on a money line bet on my standard bet. That's it. You don't like it? I, it sucks, right? 22 bucks on a $100 bet, so do the math on that. Probably roll them into a parlay. I would probably do that. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow The Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. Showing you how to bring down the house. Please join the Patreon. Uh, the Patreon gets you all types of perks and unlocks. Uh, the lock of the week. You'll get the lock of the week. You can handy, uh, You can ask me anything, handicap any fight you want. Get the free t-shirt. There's a ton of perks. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it is, what is it? It's March 4th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.